and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, today's been a big day for the Madden community. So we've had a promo and the new Mutt 10 player. So as far as the promo goes, guys, I posted plenty of videos today for you guys to go see. I have two things regarding Mutt Heroes. I also have a gameplay with the Mutt Heroes coming out later. So make sure to check all that out, guys. But today is the Mutt 10 day on top of the first big promo of the year. So it's been a pretty good day for the Madden community. Now, Mutt 10, if you guys already know, it's a we it's a promo that lasts 10 weeks. If you want to call it a maybe a mini promo, it lasts 10 weeks. They give us one new limited time Hall of Fame type legend every week. First week we got Bo Jackson, then we got Patrick Willis, we got Calvin Johnson, and we got Brian, not Brian Dawkins. I forget who the other one was, but I'm gonna go over to the set real quick, guys. I'm recording this literally like two minutes before they release it. So I'm trying to I'm gonna give you guys a little quick prediction before it comes out on what I think it'll be, and then I'll get into what it is. So to wrap this up, we got the linebacker, like I said, we got Patrick Willis, we got Calvin Johnson at halfback, we got Bo Jackson at quarterback, we got Vic, that's who it was. So today could be a defensive lineman, a cornerback, a wild card, a tight end, a wide receiver, an offensive lineman. I feel like we're getting De um, Deion Sanders today. Either Deion Sanders or a wild card. Now, I don't know who the wild card would be, but Deion Sanders would be huge. I'd love to power that guy up and get him all the way up. Now, remember guys, at the end of 10 weeks, you do get one of these for free, so... It was time to start thinking about who you might want. Overalls have been progressively going up. It was 91, 91, 92, 92. So the one that drops today should most likely be a 93 overall if the trend continues. So remember, towards the end of the 10 weeks, the last card that's going to come out will be probably like a 94, 95 overall. So most likely, you'll probably want to take one of the last guys so you get a free 95 overall. Me, on the other hand, if you guys probably saw this live on video when I act when I realized that I forgot to do that stupid solo and i missed one and you guys have to get every week done all 10 weeks to get the free player so i'm kind of pissed i won't be getting that but luckily all you guys i remind you guys every week hopefully you've been getting that done now for today i'm hoping deon sanders if it's a wild card i really don't know what it could be i was assuming the calvin free safety would be the wild card but obviously he was not i'll go all in depth on some tips i have for you guys regarding the mutt 10 and the solos after we see the player reveal but if it's deon sanders that's huge at tight end i can only think maybe like tony gonzalez at wide receiver they already did calvin we already have moss Oh, Randy Moss. I forgot Randy Moss. So, I don't really know who else could we could have at, like, offensive lineman. I don't really know what offensive lineman they'd pick there. At safety, I was thinking Sean Taylor, but then they gave it to Calvin. So, I really don't know what we could be seeing here today. Cross my fingers for Dion, boys. Although, I'd love to see Dion as a cornerback set legend that we could all afford. He's most likely going to be one of these guys. But, we'll know pretty soon, guys. Before we get into this video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. Remember, I'm doing a, um, a day-long giveaway today. Pretty much, it's 100,000 coins. All you gotta do is comment down below 100K and like the video. If we get 750 likes on any video today, I will be giving away 100K to a random commenter. I'll be doing this today and tomorrow. I did it last week, we hit the goal last week and I already gave away the coins to Patrick, whoever that, uh, I don't know his last name, but I already gave it to him. And then for today, so make sure to like the video. 750 likes on any video today, we give it away. And if we don't hit it today, I'll do it again tomorrow for the second day of Mud Heroes. But guys, that's about it. Let's get into this. Don't forget to subscribe, boys. We're almost at 10K. Let's grind out to the first big milestone. Now let's wait for the player reveal. All right, guys, so they did just finally release it. We got a Rob Gronkowski 92 overall tight end. I'm super hyped about that. I will for sure be powering that up. As long as I like the stats, I got to check them all out, guys. Let's head on over to Twitter and check out this beastly tight end Rob Gronkowski stats. I couldn't even, I don't know why I wasn't thinking Gronkowski. I was one of my predictions earlier in the year for what the tight end could be. I completely forgot about that, guys, but that's huge. Gonna be a fun car. Let's go check that out. All right, guys, so we're on the Twitter page right here. They gave him speed. Let's go. And not speed in that sense, but he is fast for a tight end, considering what they always like to give Gronk cards. Wow. I'm excited for this Gronk card. Now I'm pissed that I didn't get my Mutt 10 player. I would have loved to have had a nice 92 overall Gronkowski. 45 salary cap for all you salary cap guys don't know what that means in salary cap uh, language but you guys do he's got two little mime looking hands right there for an ours archetype don't know what the archetypes are ltd obviously can be trained up on the patriots really cool card art i don't know what card they use this from if anyone knows comment that down below if they know what uh card art they took this game from because they always take a card art from older maddens now he's a 92 overall so he will not be 93 this week that was my mistake it is every three weeks so that means that next week will probably be a 93, which means they'll probably end up around the final card being either a 93 or a 94. But guys, this is pretty crazy. I'm really hyped. Fan favorite type card. I mean, 83 speed in a Gronkowski. What else can we ask for, guys? They never give him good speed on these cards. He's six foot six. Obviously, a six foot six monster. Gronkowski's always been huge. Hasn't really lost that. That's 
You know, his calling card in the NFL has always been he's tall, he can catch, and after the after the catch, he's pretty crazy good too. He can't be tackled. He's got 84 strength to tight end, which is really, really good. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure 84 strength is one of the higher graded strength tight ends in the game. 89 catching, 90 catching traffic, 90 spec catch. So powered up, this guy has all above 90 catching. 84 short route running, 81 medium route running. Again, re pretty good for a tight end considering a Gronkowski. Most times a Gronkowski car doesn't have the greatest route running, doesn't have great speed. Now he only has a 75 run block, which I kind of find that hard to believe because Gronkowski was one of the better, bigger guys. He's practically a lineman on the field. You'd think they would have at least given him like an 80 run block, which is kind of it's kind of low for him. But honestly, him and my Kittle, going to be a nasty duo at tight end. I'm really excited about this right here. Now, I'm surprised because I really thought we'd have like a cornerback today, but I'll gladly take Rob Gronkowski. If you power this guy up, right, because that's what I do every week, you power him up to his 90 overall uh, power-up card. Let's see. He'd probably have like an 81 speed, 82 strength, 88 catching, 88 catching traffic, 87 spec catch, 82 short route running, 80 medium route running, and probably 73 run blocking. So even at an 81 speed, this Gronkowski car will still be really awesome. Still pretty fast for Gronkowski. He'll have awesome catching, so he'll be an awesome red zone threat. Honestly, he's going to be one of the best red zone threats in the game, especially if you have his full card. Great strength. Still going to be not a bad blocker, considering he's still going to have like a 75 plus a high strength. I wish the medium, the medium route running was slightly higher. A little bit on the lower side, considering that I like when my tight end can cut. But I do use guys like George Kittle right now, so if they get the job done, Gronkowski's for sure going to get the job done. He's going to be a nice addition to most teams. So, so far we do have Willis, we have the Randy, we have the Bo, we have the Calvin, we have the Gronkowski, we have the Vic. So that leaves us with, we still could get a wild card, a cornerback, a defensive lineman, and an offensive lineman. So the only ones that are left that are going to be really exciting out of that group probably be a defensive lineman and a cornerback and the wild card. Uh, offensive lineman doesn't really excite me too much for this, guys. Now, personal recommendation, will he be worth the coins initially? Probably not. He'll probably go in for like 2 million coins because Rob Gronkowski is a fan favorite. Uh, I'd wait for your free fantasy pack in a few weeks. It's definitely going to come down to a few guys. I mean, for me, if I had to still choose, I'd probably end up picking Gronkowski to be up there for me. Although, Vic might still have the edge at some in some aspects. Randy Moss will still have some of the edge. I don't think Willis and Bo Jackson are even considerable for those at this point. Their power-up cards are almost as good, and with running backs and all stuff coming out, I imagine that they're not going to be top options, guys. Now, let's head back over to the Madden screen real quick. Okay, guys, so like I said, as of now, I think the only considerable options right now are Randy Moss, Vic, and Rob Gronkowski, but I imagine in the coming weeks with more cards, the cornerback, if it is Deion Sanders, will definitely be up there if it's like if they drop like a, what's his name, Charles Woodson, or any of those type guys, or Troy Palomalu, or something, trust me, I know Troy Palomalu was a safety, but you'd be surprised with Madden, they gave Calvin Johnson a free safety card, so I mean, there's still potential for really good bangers, like a defensive lineman, I don't know who they'd even drop at defensive lineman, to be quite honest with you, but let's head over guys, real quick to the solo challenges, do not forget, you don't want to miss this, EA finally removed the solo challenges during the week when they're not out. Which, if you guys don't know, that's pretty big because for me, I'd always click them and it'd like crash my Madden and I'd have to back out every time. I don't know why I would do that, but they're going to be over here somewhere. Go to your Mutt 10, guys. The first thing you want to do when it comes out is go play the solo. Get your power up card because typically, if, you get, if you're one of the first people, like I always say, I preach this, to get that power up card, you could typically sell it for a pretty good amount of coin. I've gotten Brian Dawkins off the Legend solos, even. I've gotten Vic right away and I could sell them pretty quickly for like at least minimum 20K, sometimes 40K. And then you all you gotta do is wait like another hour and they're back down to 7K. Cause once like thousands of people have played it, it devalue tanks. But initially, all the people who are impatient that are rich with coins just wanna get the card as quickly as possible. So get it done. See if you could sell it for at least 20K real quick, make a decent amount of coins. Then you can go pick up his regular card for like 7K when it is out. I'm sure as hell will be doing that. Do not forget to play your solo challenge, guys. I recommend you do it as soon as possible. Don't be like me. Don't be this guy that doesn't end up hitting his player in a few weeks, which really does suck a lot. And don't forget to put your tokens in. Start getting ready. Start thinking about who you're going to want in a few weeks. I think it will be ending sometime in November, right? Because in four weeks, it'll probably end like the first week of November or second week of November. Most likely my math is correct there, guys. But that is about it for the video. If you guys are new to the channel, Go down below, smack that sub button, boys. Let's get to 10K, the first big milestone on this channel. I greatly appreciate it. You guys have been along for this journey since 2K. It hasn't been the longest journey because I did just start this year. I realistically have started daily uploading consistently in just in August. So from 2K to 10K from August, guys, it's been it's been a big journey for me. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Go down below, comment down below 100K. Make sure to like this video to get entered for the giveaway. This vi If any video today hits 750 likes, guys, I will do the giveaway. If it does not, we'll rerun it tomorrow and I'll lower the like goal. But... Let's get it going, guys. If you're loyal, you've watched this far, like the video, 
Turn on the noti bell, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to check out the gameplay. I have a pretty awesome gameplay for coming for you guys probably right after this video at some time around like 5, 4, uh, 5, 6 o'clock. But that's it. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.